presents the Bob and Blake Utter Game of the Week. Trying to get the edge. Wasn't able to get it, but he does get the first down. Jennings in motion. They fake the hand to him. Taylor under pressure. Throws it down the field. Kyle Gallion makes a great catch at the 15. Tia drug down at the six-yard line. Sam Oney on the stop for Marshall, but not after Gallion displays his magnificent hands going up for the football, bringing it down. And then making the move. DJ Jones and Taylor jump. Jordan Taylor's gonna keep it in the end zone. It's touchdown time in Texas for the first time this afternoon for the Denison Yellow Jackets, and they take the early lead, which was much needed as we talked about in this football game. Six to nothing, Denison on top. Well, look, that's the one thing we had talked about. This Denison team has got to get out quickly, and every session you'll see. Anderson and Hagwood. And in motion is French. Hand off Anderson right side squirts through into the end zone for the touchdown And just like that the ground game of Marshall Puts points on the board against the Yellow Jackets here in the first quarter Denison only giving up 37 points all year in the first quarter Add six this afternoon a few years ago. He came back this year who was with them when they went to state Here's a handoff Jamal Anderson in the end zone touchdown Marshall as for the first time in a long time, Denison is behind in a football game, 12 to seven with 8.21 left to go in the second quarter. Well, another nine feet drive. And now well in Denison territory at the 25 yard line. Hand off left side, lots of room. Jamal Anderson again to the 10 to the five. Touchdown Marshall. My, oh my. The lanes that Marshall are creating are enormous. And it's 18 to seven. Awaiting the PAT and Denison has not been down like this in 2009. Well, I assure you that uh, this defense will make an awful now a standing Yellow Jacket crowd trying to get Jordan Taylor and company going. Here's a pass to Mundine caught at the four yard line. And with that catch, Jermaine Mundine is now the all time single season receptions leader at 44 passing Leslie DeHorney. So move over, Leslie DeHorney. Here's Jermaine Mundine. Play action. Taylor finds him for the first down. First down and goal. Taylor running left side, looking for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown time in Texas. Jordan Taylor carrying the Yellow Jackets on his back. And they stick it in the end zone, 19 to 13, awaiting the PAT. Well, that was more like it. Imani all over the field. Absolutely. DJ Jones in the backfield looking to go 97 yards here. Yellow Jackets from their own three. Second down and 13. DJ Jones up the middle. He's got that lane. Look out, DJ Jones 20. DJ Jones to the 40, to the 50. Chase down and drug out of bounds, or actually goes out of bounds at the 33 yard line. I thought for a moment he was on his way for 97, but you talked about the speed of Marshall and they were able to crack DJ Jones down from behind. Uh, how do you how do you even catch DJ Jones? Well, <laughs> you get another track star out of Waiting for that play. Is this the one that sends DJ Jones into the record books? He needs one yard to surpass Corey Robertson as Denison's all-time leading rusher in career yardage. Handoff. DJ Jones has yardage, and there with that carry. D.J. Jones is now the all-time leading rusher in Denison school history. Move over, Corey Robertson. D.J. Jones has now taken the top spot among all Denison rushers in the history of Yellow Jacket football. And it's an amazing feat. Let's not, hey, let's, let's not kid ourselves, uh, especially with Yellow Jacket teams that really just run the football. This is a team that's well-balanced. And, wow. and three. D.J. Jones, left side. He's got the first down to the five. It is touchdown time in Texas. And the Yellow Jackets regain the lead. And the coaching staff runs onto the field. Wow. And listen to the crowd. I mean, what a, what a great block. And then D.J. Jones, as soon as he sees a little bit of daylight, he said, I've got to get mine tonight. Now I'm the king of the hill as far as rushing marks. And now I'm setting, putting my name in the books with the touch touchdown as well. Doing swims, uh, some stunting up front, picking it up. Taylor wants to throw deep down the field. Got Gallion all alone, makes the catch. 25, 20, kiss him goodbye. T Touchdown time in Texas. And I, I tell you 
tell you what, I'll even get a, I'll even give it to Lynn Burkhead. Stick it in the end zone and put it on the scoreboard. Touchdown, Denison. Hey, that's a great throw to begin with. Good protection up front to start this, and then Galleon, the speedster, runs the flag route. Probably the biggest so far. 9.26 on the clock. Denison leading 28-19, third and goal. Fitzgerald throws it. Incomplete, no, it's in for the touchdown. French makes the catch. Bryce French calls it in for the touchdown, his fourth of the year. Anytime you get that coverage in the secondary short of a linebacker. Fourth down, here we go, fourth and three. Fitzgerald, the carry, he's stuck. Jermaine Mundine, he says no. I Jermaine say Mundine no. takes him to the woodshed. Nice play. I mean, it just started with everybody up front, linebackers including, then Mundine got rid of the blocker and just came in and laid a major lick on Anderson. What a champion. Taylor drops back, looks, looks down the field for Cody Reeves, makes an adjustment, and makes the catch at the 15-yard line. Yes, sir. In traffic with one-handed catch. Brandon Williams hanging all over him, and Reeves makes the catch. You talk about a gutsy call by offensive coordinator Eddie Hancock. Instead of grinding this thing out, he says, I'm going to put my playmakers in play, and Cody Reeves mental play of this football game fourth and four for the yellow jackets jordan taylor wants to throw over the middle scott mundine has got the touchdown touchdown time in texas wow 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 how about that call i mean eddie hancock had to get on the headset man i think i see something and you go to your probably one of the best tight ends that Denison has ever seen in Jermaine Mundine. Unbelievable play call, gutsy. Hey, and not only that, that was a 10 yard touchdown, which means Jermaine Mundine has set another record. He just passes Warren Dade on the single season yard mark. He now has 950 over 949. I was just going to say, that's a big extra point. That right there is huge. That brings our score, 35 to 26. Denison in the lead with three minutes and 46 delicious seconds awaiting here at Hanby Stadium. Special thanks to Blake. And in motion, again, is Demarcus Sadler. Fitzgerald throws that. Now intercepted. Seth Britton at the 25-yard line. Comes up to the 26, and that saves this football game. Get down and 10. We hit the one minute mark. Fitzgerald throwing it down the field. This one's going to be intercepted by Jordan Taylor coming near side. 30 slides down at the 34 yard line. And the Yellow Jackets have exactly one delicious minute left to go in this football game. Wow, how big was that? And you see that the Marshall has really struggled here. Crowd knows it. We know it. Dennison, your Yellow Jackets are regional champions. You're 12 and 1, which is what your record was last year, and you're advancing for a rematch with Sulphur Springs, and it's going to be a classic. Celebrate, Denison fans. You've got a great football team, and it's going to be a fun week.